Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth and final part of my group made to order showcase for the Noble Shoe. We are at the last final fourth part and we've spoken about all the three boots and it's time to end up with the bang. So in today's video we will be talking about this Carlos Santos Chaka boot which is rather unique, first of all, because it's a really different type of suede color, at least, a bit more casual. You can see it from the eyelets as well. And because this is a Norwegian split toe, at least apron split toe front chaka boot, which you don't usually see. So we're gonna talk about this bad boy today, which was commissioned as a made to order for, for a client, and I thought it would look really nice, and uh, hopefully you will love it too. So let's get going. You know, one of the unique, difficult and exciting aspects of creating a new shoe is to take, let's say, an existing model that was maybe made in something that looked unappealing or ugly or wrong and turn it into something good. So a few years ago, when I was in the Carlos Santos factory, I saw this style, this model, and it was in the, in my opinion, in the wrong last. It was in a very, you know, bright, bold color and uh, it didn't look so great, but I thought it had potential. So when a Style Forum member approached me and asked me, can you make me a split toe uh, chaka boot? And I'm like, uh, I have an idea. And I showed him and he wanted something in suede and I already knew what I was going to choose. So we ended up with this one, which is the 9989 split toe or Norwegian split toe chaka boot with three eyelets. So first of all, these eyelets remind me of the, the you know, those gilly brogs that you have uh, in Oxford with a bit of a wider lacing. So I think it gives it a bit of more, uh, uh, you know, a different approach and different look to it if you really look. And then of course you have the apron, which I think Santos does a great job uh, for such price points. And of course, the split, the raised split. Uh, you can see on the profile it looks uh, rather good, I would say. And uh, this one, I think, is on the 401 last or the 234, I will need to check. But I think it looks phenomenal. Very happy with it. Uh, very, very nice suede. Uh, it's, it's a really nice suede they use from Charles Steed. Uh, the stitching is uh, everywhere really nice and uh, it starts to grow on me, you know, with the lacing system. Of course, uh, everything, leather inside as well. And some really unique details on the side panels and the back panels here uh, and the throat of the shoe. It's like this is stitched on the top and there is another panel underneath. Uh, very interesting. Of course, for this model, I thought, you know, casual, bitter, everyday shoe. Uh, I want a slimmer profile to match the shoes and uh, there we go. So we ended up with, uh, with a nice leather Goodyear welted sole. Uh, it's up for discussion if someone would prefer it with uh, rubber, but uh, you should let me know in the comments down below. I think overall, a uh, great shoe, very casual, perfect for, uh, you know, jeans and some chinos uh, and everyday use. I think that uh, I would wear this whether it's a Saturday night or a Friday evening, or even if I just need to go to the shop and buy some groceries. Really easy to put on and off. There's no pull tab. Haha! <laughs> so it makes it easy. And the lacing system also makes it easy to slip in and out. I think uh, that this will be a nice model and expect to see it in the following months. That's about it. Ooh, so this has been a long series. Uh, I, I really like this more rapid fire, quicker videos because I don't blubber too much and you get to see the action a bit more. So this is a model that was commissioned, you know, for a, for a client from Style Forum and he was like, I would like a split toe chaka if you have any and uh, preferably in suede and I already knew what suede I would use and uh, I already knew what model was a bit, you know, appealing to, to try and work it out and I think that this one, it ended up really well, especially if you're a fan of uh, Norwegian split toes, uh, like in the front, it's, the proportions are really nice and of course, Leather sole, uh, up for discussion. Uh, I think because this is a casual shoe that you would wear probably on the weekends or every day, I think the leather sole and the slimmer profile works really nice. A really nice toe shape as well. Uh, very good suede by Santos, especially at these price points. 
and uh, definitely you know not your regular chaka it looks a little bit different but not too much i think that uh, this can be a great way for you to show some different you know personality or have uh, some discussion uh, and you will get a lot of compliments by something uh, from something like this especially if you're the type that wears jeans and chinos and more casual wear and this concludes our four-part mini-series of showcasing uh, the upcoming groupmate orders for the Noble Shoe. Uh, this will pop up uh, probably in the next two to three months in this time span. So in all three months, I will be rolling them out one by one. And uh, you can check them out probably by staying tuned in the channel, on Instagram, following the blog, or simply, and most importantly, subscribing at the Noble Shoe newsletter, which I promise I really don't spam you, just once or twice a month. And that concludes everything. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do more of these short, quick, rapid-fire showcases. And let me know which one was your favorite model or your least favorite and why, or what you would like to see in the future from the channel and from the Noble Shoe. Of course, uh, if you enjoyed this series, if you enjoyed the channel, if you enjoyed my effort, my hobby, uh, please support me by leaving a comment, uh, leaving a like and a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. It really, really means a lot to me and motivates me to bring you more content. And let's get going with the last dad joke of this series. And I'll see you next time. You know, I was addicted to soap, but I'm clean now. <laughs> Probably the worst one of them all. <laughs> Thank you for watching this mini-series, and I'll see you the next one. Bye! Mm.